Hey y'all, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Tonight in my kitchen, I'm gonna do a stuffed chicken breast, a little different than the last time. What I have is just a very few herbs from my garden. I have some basil and some rosemary. Turn it all in here. Um, and I'm gonna use that. My plants are not big enough to cut a lot. So anyway, what I've done is I've taken four big fat chicken breasts and divided them in two just by cutting them. And what I'm gonna do is, give me a second. I'm gonna soften my cream cheese in the microwave. I'm using Tillamont cream cheese, which my sister-in-law, Vicki, recommended this. She said it's amazing, which everything I've had from their company is amazing. I use their cheese all the time now, their grated cheese, and I also use their ice cream. It's off the hook. Anyway, and I don't get paid to say that. Just so you know, let me grab the goodies. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I have sprayed this casserole dish. This is my Pioneer Lady casserole dish. And what I wanna do is season these up. Cookie, you can't put that right up under my feet. You're gonna trip me. Just gave her a new bone. All right, let's start with the top layer here. I wanna put some salt and pepper. Make sure everybody can see. I like pepper. Some salt to your taste. Okay, I'm gonna add some garlic powder. You can use real garlic if you prefer. Okay, let me grab a knife. And let me turn my oven on 375. Three seventy-five on the oven. I'm gonna take this Tillamock cream cheese, spread some on each one of these breasts. Okay. I am going to cut some rosemary. I don't want to get too much rosemary. My family's not crazy about strong rosemary taste. So I, uh, of course, want them to love it. And then I'm going to take a little bit of basil, what I have. I didn't want to cut it back too much because it hadn't established a good root system yet on my planter. I'm going to roll that up. I'm going to snip it in the middle. Save the rest. Okay, I'm going to take these and roll them up, y'all. I'm going to put them seam side down in my greased casserole dish. And you want to try to cut them even if you have to split the breast. You may even need to pound it out, you know, flatten it out. But I'm going to cook mine covered for about an hour. Okay, let me start over here. Get my hands to wash. Handling chicken. Don't want to cross contaminate. Watch out, boo boo. You right up under me, boo boo. Cookie's in here with me. Alright, move up here. 
Yes, I'm talking to chicken, okay? It's that time of year. The hubs ain't home till late, so I talk to the dog and to the food. And to y'all. Okay. Did I salt and pepper that? I did. No, I didn't. Lord have mercy. Okay, now. Just snippets, and you can use any herb that your family likes. I made chicken in the crock pot one time, a whole chicken, and put too much rosemary in it for a Sunday lunch, and the dog wouldn't even eat it. It was so strong. My family definitely didn't eat it, but we put it outside, tore it up, and tried to feed it to our dog. That's been years ago. I don't remember what dog we had then, to be honest with you. Okay. We've always had dogs. Okay. Same side down. These are kind of smaller. That one, the one I just did is. Okay, let me get my hands to wash again. And to add a little liquid to this, I'm going to use what I've got, which is the Kim Crawford Sauvignon Blanc. About a fourth a cup so that my chicken doesn't dry out. You can use chicken broth or just water. And I'm gonna just dollop the top of these with the rest of this cream cheese. Otherwise, I'd have to throw it away because it's cross-contaminated with chicken. And I'm just going to use the rest of the rosemary on top. Now I'm going to cover this with foil and stick it into a 375 degree oven for one hour. And I'm going to cook it covered. Stuffed chicken breast. Lisa style. So let's call this Lisa stuffed chicken breast. With cream cheese. I will let you know how it turns out. And I'll show a picture at the beginning of the video. Into a 375 degree oven one hour. Watch out, boo boo. to serve baked potato with this and corn out of the freezer. Anyway, it'd be great with a salad as well. Thanks for tuning in. Stuffed chicken breast, y'all. That's what I'm doing tonight. Like, share, and comment. Bye now.